Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Now people ask me all the time, what are my favorite foundations? And I decided I would have a look through all of the ones that I've got and pick out the five that I think are the, those I use most often. And the most that I, the ones that I think are most appropriate for older skin. Uh, I'm 75 years old, so my skin is definitely uh, drier and more wrinkly. And I've got to be thoughtful about the products that I use. Now I do, uh, I have one cream product that I really like, which I'm not featuring today because I wanted to stay with liquid foundations because I think, sorry, I've got my glasses on there. Um, I think that um, they're the ones that I use most often and I think that they actually do work on my face, you know, the best. So let's start with the, the one that I have been using the longest probably, which is this one from Boots, the a chemist. It's at number seven. It's a, it's actually in the drugstores in the UK, but I know you can get this online now. It's the um, Hydra Luminous. They've done all kinds of, every almost every year they come out with a different one, but Hydra Luminous is the one that I use most often and uh, my color is cool beige and this has got such a beautiful pigment to it it's got a really nice application very smooth creamy um, and it's long lasting and I really do love this product a lot so that's number one that's my number one favorite uh, 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 not my not, not the top one the top one's coming in a minute but this is one of my very very favorites number seven I think you'll enjoy it if you if you give it a try. The other one that I've been using again for a very long time, which I adore, is the Shiseido Self Refreshing Foundation. It's called uh, Synchro Skin Self Refreshing. Um, uh, my color is quartz, and again, I think this is the third uh, jar that I've purchased over the years. It's very very lightweight. Um, I can't really quite describe it. It's got a very cool top as well. Like it twists uh, to open and and let it out because um, otherwise you end up. Um, spilling it everywhere, but um, if you can see that, it's very, very beautiful, and it's a, it's a little bit light color, but it oxidizes a little bit when you wear it. But it's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I really, really love that one. And um, if you've got favorites, by the way, please leave them in the comment section below because these are just my favorites. And I think that um, having said that, I've, I've tried quite a few, and I've spent quite a bit of money unnecessarily on more expensive things. I think I could have, you know, found just easy um, alternatives in the in this group that I've, I've got. By the way, the number seven is about fifteen dollars. The Shiseido is more expensive. It's around 30, but uh, it lasts a while and I really, really like it. The next one that I wanted to feature is one that has a memory associated with it that's pretty strong and uh, therefore it's one of my favorites. This is the um, Ra Radiant Professional Wonder Light Foundation, Serum Foundation, they call it. The color that I use is number three, which is uh, Natural Beige. It only comes in five different colors. Now, Radiant Professional is a professional makeup company in Greece, and I was there this has got to be eight years ago. Um, and I was uh, wandering around this shop called Hondas, which is their kind of, you know, there's this, this, this Sephora. And um, I found this makeup and this is the fourth bottle that I've purchased over the years. This is brand new. I just got it because I was running low and I will never, ever be low on this because I just love it so, so much. And um, I, it's about... $25 and they ship internationally. I cannot recommend this one high, highly enough. I think it's my second favorite in the whole world. Um, I, as I said, I would not be without it, but it's Wonderlight. Um, this, the, they have several different version, different foundations, but this is the Serum Foundation by a Radiant Professional. And again, I'll put all the details in the section under the video so that you can you can pick it up if you want to, but um, I love that particular one. Another one that I really enjoy is, I don't know if you can get this in the States, so I actually kind of hesitate to show it, but it is my one of my favorites, and it's the one by a company called La Vera. La Vera. Now, this is a company that has uh, made a reputation in Europe for their skincare products, for their moisturizers and skincare bath products. And um, they, they have a, a very good product line of makeup, however. Eyeshadows are gorgeous. They've got other uh, concealers and um, just a, a nice line of basic skincare products. This one, I think, is perfect for older skin. It's called Lovera Hyaluronic Liquid Foundation. I wish I could read the back of it. I could tell you some of the ingredients in it, but it's very hydrating and very, very beautiful. When I put this on, it's funny, whenever I put this one on, I always think to myself, why do I even buy, buy any more makeup? Because this is just like the perfect makeup for me. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
it's, and again, it's a perfect shade for my skin and I just absolutely adore it. It goes on really, really smoothly. It doesn't cling on under your eyes, um, wrinkles, if you've got older older skin like me. I'm just wiping it off, but um, you know, I really do enjoy, enjoy it and I would highly recommend this one. If you can get your hands on it, try it, just try it. And I, I mm, well, I can't say I guarantee anything because every skin type is different, every face is different, but I would very highly recommend that you try La Vera because it's a good line, solid uh, skincare um, uh, lines, and this foundation is beautiful. Hyaluronic Liquid Foundation. The other one, which of course, I think you all know which one it's going to be, don't you? <laughs> I've been talking about it nonstop for the last year, but this is my CoverGirl. CoverGirl and o Olay skincare together put out this um, foundation called Olay Simply Ageless and it's called Hyaluronic Complex and Vitamin C but it's the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless, Ageless and it's got kind of like a little band of you can almost see the, the foundation and the skincare or the, the moisturizer in there but it's really really beautiful it's what I have on today this is my, found, my foundation of the day uh, I don't think I've found anything that is so consistent it doesn't matter what my skin's doing. It always seems to like it and calm it down. And um, I just love it so, so much. It's, it is a very hydrating uh, product. I'm in the color 250, um, that, which is, um, it's, uh, well, 240 is my sort of winter color. And then uh, 250 is in the, su in the summer, but you can switch between them. But 250 is the one that I use most of the time. And it's the one that I have on today. I don't know if I can, you can see this. Again, when I show you these foundations, it's not really helping you to see the color because they blend into my skin because they are my skin color. But this one is just so smoothing. I mean, Olay products are fantastic and, Co and CoverGirl has consistently put together, in my opinion, great foundations. So this is the one that though that I would choose as my personal favorite, So just because I love it so much. Um, and again, it's affordable drugstore. It's around... I think it was around $12, something like that. I forgot to mention the Lavera is also about that, that price range, $12. The only one really that is more expensive is the, um, the Radiant Professional, which is 25, which is still reasonable considering the prices you can pay for some of these crazy foundations these days. And also the, the Shiseido Synchro Skin, which is um, I think about 30, but again, in my opinion, totally, totally worth it. So those are my foundation favorites. I've waited a while to do this because there were a few others that were kind of hanging on the edge there, like wanting to be, you know, calling out to be included, include me, like the, this um, cream product that I use from Technic, Technique, uh, Technic, and it's a skin balm. It's like between a cream and a balm and a foundation, liquid foundation. Very, very cool. Um, but I'm not sure you can get that so much in the States, but Technic is another really good brand. And um, that's honestly my the truthful analysis of my foundation favorites. And if you've got a favorite that um, is not included in these five, which probably is, these are just five of many on the market, let me know. Put them in the, in the comments section below, which one you love. And I would love to try it. By the way, I came across this cover girl purely by chance it was in a charity shop someone had um returned it or was you know brought, brought it in was maybe not the right color i tried it and went where has that been all my life and then i bought it and of course the rest is history but sometimes you just have to you know ask for someone else's suggestions or advice and they have them to give to you but anyway i hope that you enjoyed this uh, short show on my favorite uh, foundations they're all liquid all beautiful I love them so much and I hope that you um, maybe have tried some yourself and can share your experience. But if not, let me know what you like. What are your favorites? What's your favorite foundation? Okay, everybody, have a great day, by the way. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because then YouTube will, will share it with more people, which is what I love to do. And um, if you are, um, you know, not subscribed to this channel, please do that because I would love to have you join our family. We have almost 250,000 uh, subscribers now on YouTube, big community of beautiful women, and you're one of them. And I appreciate you so much. So take care of yourselves, go out into the world, stay safe, stay safe and strong <laughs> and shine. Don't forget to shine and glow in the world. The world needs you. Okay, take good care. Lots of love.